Hello guys, welcome to Civil Concept and in this video we will see how to calculate the weight of steel bars in a roof slab. Okay, so here you can see this is a slab and here we will calculate the total weight of this uh, reinforcement in a slab. Okay, so here this is given the diameter of the main bars is 10 mm and diameter of the distribution bars is 8 mm. Okay guys, so uh, we always provide main bars in a shorter span and distribution bars in a longer span okay so you can see in this picture this is the main bars okay so this uh, vertical bars are main bars and which are of 10 mm and center to center distance is 6 inches okay and this is the distribution bar and this distri distribution are of uh, 8 mm and uh, its uh, uh, spacing is center to center spacing is almost 6 inches okay and the width of the slab is 10 feet in this direction and 12 feet in this direction okay so let us calculate the total quantity of steel dot required for this slab 10 feet by 12 feet slab okay so here given diameter of the main bar is 10 mm diameter of the distribution bar is 8 mm spacing between bars are how much 6 inches okay in both both direction okay so width of slab is given 12 feet and width of slab a length of slab is given 12 feet and width of slab is given how much 10 feet okay so in next uh, number what will we see here so in number one number of main bars what we have to do first of all we have to calculate total number of main bars for 12 feet of slab okay so this is the formula that uh, number of bars is equals to width of uh, slab okay so width of slab divided by spacing plus one okay so we have to take 12 feet because we have uh, laid this main bars in this direction okay so we have to take this width okay so this width is given how much 12 feet and divided by uh, 0 0.25 uh, this is a spacing okay guys so uh, spacing between this uh, rods are how much 6 inches so when we convert it into feet then we have to convert we have to divide it by 12 because because 12 inch makes what one feet okay so 12 inch equals to one feet and when we divide the 6 divided by 12 then we will get how much 0 0.5 so dividing by 0 0.5 plus 1 this is a formula and we will get how much 25 number of main bars okay how much uh, number of bars we required for uh, 12 feet of slab we required how much 25 number of main bars okay similarly in number two number of distribution bars okay so number of distribution we have laid in this direction okay so we have to take this width okay so this width is given how much 10 feet you can see here this is 10 feet and again dividing by its spacing if we have spacing 5 inch then simply divide it by 12 and you will get answer in feet okay so here it is 6 inch so i will divide this 6 divided by 12 and we will get how much 0 0.5 Feet, okay so you have to put the uh, both unit in same okay so width is uh, in meter then we have to take this spacing in meter the here uh, the width is in feet so i have taken this spacing into feet okay now plus one we get how much 21 number of distribution bars okay so total number of main bars is 25 total number of distribution bars is 21 okay so weight of main bars will be in number three what is the weight of the main bars only main bars will be the w equals to d square by 162.25 into l this is guys formula to calculate the weight of steel rod if we have the length in meter okay so simply what we do w equals to 10 into 10 which is d diameter d is the diameter and l is the length in meter okay so here uh, simply we put diameter of uh, main bars 10 into 10 divided by 162.28 into l and l is how much here the length of this main bars is how much 10 feet okay so guys here i am not taking this uh, measurement of this uh, killer cover or uh, any spacing uh, behind this rod just you can also take this uh, killer cover and subtract from 10 feet okay so i am uh, only just want to show you how to calculate the weight of steel bars without considering this killer cover okay so weight of main bars is t square uh, divided by 162.25 into l and l is 10 feet okay so we have to divide it by 3.28 to convert it into meter okay because to use this formula we have 
to convert the length of this steel bars in meter okay so i have put all the value okay and here 25 is the total number of rewards okay so the num total number of rebar is 25 so i have put here multiplied it with 25 this is length of only one rod and when we multiply it to 25 then it will give us total length of rods okay rebars so after calculating we will get how much w equals to 46.90 6 kg and guys this is the weight of main bars okay now we will calculate the uh, weight of distribution bar okay so how will we calculate we will use same formula to calculate the weight of distribution bar okay similarly weight of distribution bar will be w equals to same formula we have to use d square divided by 162.25 into uh, this is the length and this is the total number of free bar okay so again we have the uh, length uh, what uh, we have the length of distribution bar is how much you can see this is the length of distribution bar and which is 12 feet okay so again i am dividing it by 3.28 to convert it into meter okay because the length should be in meter and total number of bars is 21 we have already calculated in the previous space that total number of distribution bar is how much 21 okay so after calculating weight of distribution bars we will get almost 30.29 kg and adding both bars is equals to 46.96 plus 30.26 we will uh, 29 we will get almost 77.25 kg of steel bars required for this slab okay now what about the binding rods okay so binding rods is uh, we will use here thumb rule okay so generally used uh, rules that we require 10 kg of binding wire in one ton of uh, rebar okay to bind one ton of rebar so simply what we do this uh, divide it by 10 and multiply it with 1000 because one ton of rod is equals to 1000 kg of rebar okay so 77.25 divided by 10 into uh, 1000 is equals to 0 0.77 kg approximately 1 kg of binding rod will be required to bind these types of reinforcement of slab 10 feet by 12 feet okay guys so in this way we can calculate the weight of steel bars in a roof slab and uh, guys please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you